Hello friends, welcome to my channel Travel for Life and today I will talk about a Scotland trip planning, all about a Scotland trip planning, what are the important places to cover, why we should visit a Scotland, what is the budget, how many days required and what are the things we should take care and all important information, best weather to visit a Scotland. So all the inf this information will be given in this particular video so keep watching this video till end and enjoy everything. So let's start. The first question is why we should visit Scotland. So you can see this videos and you can uh, you know you know realize why it is important to visit Scotland. about what are the important place to cover in Scotland so this entire area is called Scotland okay and the Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland so it's a very beautiful place Edinburgh you should visit it after that Glasgow is a city it's a, like business city we can say there also you can visit Isle of Arran is there but it is a uh, it's not connected to the mainland you have to go by ferry or something so it is little far but it is also in Scotland and very beautiful when you go from Glasgow to the north side towards uh, Scottish Highland, so this entire area is called Scottish Highland. So there is Loch Lomond is there. Loch in uh, you uh, in Scotland, Loch means lake. Okay. Then Glencoe is there. Glencoe is like surrounded by a wide valley and uh, big big mountains. And then after that, via Fort William, you go to the Isle of Skye. This entire area is Isle of Skye, and it is called it is most beautiful place in uh, Scotland. Okay. After Isle of Skye, you just need to go like Loch Ness. Loch Ness is a very, uh, very big lake and it's a uh, depth wise also it's very deep, deep. And after Loch Ness, you can go to the Inverness. Inverness is also a very beautiful city. And after that, you can go to the complete east side of Aberdeen. It is a beach kind of city. And then you can come to the St. Andrews is here. St. Andrews is, you must be knowing, it is very famous for the golf course. And then Stirling uh, castles are there, so you can come back again to Stirling. Nearby Stirling, there is a one very oldest town in Scotland, which is called Culrose. And then you can end your trip to the Edinburgh. So these are the entire uh, location or most important locations to visit in Scotland. I will show you uh, with a few pictures of each locations, and then you can de decide which all the place you want to cover. If you want to use any travel agency or tour agency for your tour, especially for the Scottish Highland, Isle of Sky, Inverness, in those cases, then you can use this major two tour operators, which I have searched and found it very good. So one is Ravis and another is Timberbush. So when you go to the north uh, north side of Scotland, you will find a lot of vehicles from these two uh, travel agency. You can find others also. You can search in Google and find it. So suppose if you want to go to via Ravis, they have curated a lot of small small tours for three days, two days and all and the prices per person are given. So you can search it and book it online also. Okay. Another is the uh, Timberbus also. I used Timberbus personally and I found it very helpful, very use, uh, very good. So you can also go with uh, this Timberbus also if you want. So you can see it here. One day plan is there from Edinburgh. Three day plan is there. 
to Isle of Skye, Loch Ness and tour from Edinburgh. So all this kind of tour you can use and you can book it there. So it also cost around 150 uh, for prices are also given here. So this from 154, it does not mean it is 154 exactly. It may be it starts with minimum cost is 154. If there are a lot of tourists, then it may be 200, 250, 300 also. Okay, so it depends when you are booking. So this is a for one day trip is like you start with 57 per person. Okay, so in this way, you can use the travel agency to uh, visit a lot of places in Scotland. If you want to uh, visit Scotland by yourself and you want to arrange your travels, so either you can get your car from anywhere if you are staying in UK or else you can come to Edinburgh and hire a car and go to the different places if you want, you want to go in the Scotland, especially Isle of Skye, Scottish Island. Driving in Scotland is not very much difficult because it's not like a very steep mountains and then steep uh, valleys there. So all are shallow so you can easily drive. Uh, is easily drive in the Scotland okay and uh, there are a lot of car hire company kayak is there here you can see that uh, each day is like 19 pound per day for one this particular car 23 so there are a lot of options are there and also this prices depends on the season in which season you are going so you can check this so you can uh, come to the Edinburgh and then also you can select any vehicle or you can book it online before coming it so that you can take the car and go to the Scotland and uh, you can enjoy the relaxed trip because if you go by any travel agency it definitely you have to be in hurry you have to complete things and then run for the next stop, stop and all but if you go by your own car you can enjoy and relax if we are talking about the public transport we can use train also and we can use city buses also to visit from Edinburgh or Glasgow till uh, Isle of Sky or uh, north of the Scotland okay so there is the if you want to go to suppose Isle of Sky then uh, there are no trains going to the Isle of Sky directly because Isle of Sky itself is an island so you can go to the nearest mainland like Malag you can go or Kyle station you can go here so these are mainland uh, connected to the Scotland and from here you need to go via ferry to the Isle of Sky, as Isle of Sky is very beautiful. So Malag, you can go via train from Glasgow. From Glasgow, direct trains are available. You can come to the Scott Rail uh, website, train website, and you can book for the train from uh, Glasgow to Malag. And from here, you can go via ferry to the Isle of Sky. Okay. Another way you can go to from Edinburgh or Glasgow to the Inverness by train, and from Inverness also there is another train which will take you to the Isle of Sky. And from here you can go via ferry to the Isle of Sky. So it is like if you go via train or you can see very beautiful view and all. That is good but it's little hectic and timetable you need to maintain what time you should go. Another way is you can go you can use the CityLink buses. CityLink bus you can get it from the Glasgow to the Isle of Sky and various part of the northern Scotland and you can go to that. Inside uh, Inside Isle of Skye, there is a, a stagecoach which is a local bus. So it will it will connect village to village in Isle of Skye. So you can use Scott uh, a stagecoach and visit different places in Isle of Skye. So this is about the like mass transport in uh, Scotland, or we can say that public transport and uh, buses and all which are available apart from the uh, cell phone taxi or tour operator. So this is one of the options. Okay. Out of these three uh, different uh, transport mode, I guess if you hire your own taxi and you are three, four people, then that will be much cheaper. Uh, if you go by tour agent, it will be a little costly, but it is also very good. And if you go by a train, bus and all the combination of that, that cost also, uh, almost similar to the whatever you are getting from the travel agency. And remember, travel agency only give you the transport. It will not provide you accommodation. So just remember that website called isleofsky.com and here you will find all the information related to the Isle of Sky. So what trains, which buses we should take, local buses, car ferry and uh, the sky bridge, all this information, what are the timetables and all are available. So I have pinged this uh, uh, dis in the description, I have mentioned this URL. You can go to this website and find all the information, helpful information. 
now we will see how many days required to visit scotland as you know scotland is a country and there are a lot of places to visit in scotland still you can divide the scotland trip in, in various uh, i mean uh, day trip so you can go for the three day trip that will be very quick and you can visit one day in edinburgh one day in glasgow and one day you can take a, a scottish highland trip from the edinburgh there are a lot of tour operators are there they charge around 50 to 60 pound and you can visit a lot of the scotland things you can most uh, mostly people use five day trip because in this one you can get most of the edinburgh and most of the uh, scotland itself and also if you want to go for the relaxed trip then you can opt for the seven days trip and there you can all cover almost everything so you can decide best time to visit scotland is summer month which is starts from may to september but there are a lot of tourists at this particular time so everything will be costly you can go to spring and autumn at that time tourist will be little less and the things are little cheaper also if you go to winter weather are very harsh and uh, but it will be very very cheap everything except uh, christmas time christmas and new year time and most of the things are cheap so you can go to the winter as well if you want cheaper things but if you want to enjoy the best of the scotland i would suggest go in the summer but just be little careful about the midges midges are actually flying insects which irritates you a lot if you go to the northern part of the scotland especially highlands one of the best region to visit in the summer is because the daytime is used to be very big in summer it used to be around starts from 4 o'clock in the morning and ends around 10 pm 10 30 pm in the night but if you go in the winter it it is like 8 to 9 hours daytime only so that you can think about it budget for a scotland trip consists of a lot of things like transport hotel food miscellaneous like entry fees and shoppings and all those things so if you consider for one person for five days trip it would be around 700 to 800 pound per person and considering you are staying in a sharing room okay sharing means two person and based on that this price is calculated you can also reduce the price if you are uh, you know uh, spend less on the shopping and uh, you are not visiting inside any casuals and also you can reduce that entry fees and all also you can transport if you are not going to the highlands and all and most of you are spending your time in edinburgh and glasgow only then your transport cost also will be saved okay so in this case you can reduce your budget also and you can decide this price shown here is approximate in nature and it is for summer season but it can change it can go up and down also based on the tourist season at that particular time and cost of living in that particular these are some of the important things you should carry especially if you are going to the scottish highland or isle of sky because this is very important especially umbrella because it can rain anytime in scotland and all in the same way all weather jacket is required shoes is needed because your one shoes can bet anytime so you need uh, you should have the another shoes id card is needed in any of the hotel for checking and cash because if you go to the scottish highland and isle of sky there are a lot of places where they accept only cash and measles repellent if you have then it will be very helpful because these are the small mosquitoes very very small small mosquitoes and they irritates you a lot in my opinion you should book your hotels and transport in advance before reaching a scotland that will be much easier and it will be much cheaper also sometimes transport issue you will find if you want to go to the north of uh, scotland in tourist season so you should book all these things in advance Hope you liked this video so please like share and subscribe my channel travel for life and ask your friends to visit this channel and view the awesome content there are a lot of videos already uploaded for the different uh, days for the scotland trip so please go and visit my channel and view more videos thank you please like share and subscribe